han hon hör i vårt få, i vårt kunser på. Amen. Pride is the first of the deadly sins that can lead us to commit to six other mortal sins. Prideful individuals see themselves as superior to all and they often look down on others. Their most loved and used word is I. I want this, I decided this, and I say this. Having a superior opinion of oneself is disrespectful to our Creator. People may be talented and creative in many ways, but they can never match the original Creator. We are God's agents in this world, and whatever an individual does is done with God's permission and help. Men and women were created for the glory of God. Prideful individuals are always happy with themselves and are often blind to their shortcomings. They also try to measure themselves as equal with God's knowledge and wisdom. The reason that Satan succeeded in tempting Adam and Eve was because they were proud. Thus, they were divided. They wanted to be like God and know everything. Often prideful people think that because they do not commit theft, injustice, murder, robbery, or other sins, that they are innocent, righteous, and good people. Alternatively, it is important that we realize that to be a good person, it is not enough to spread white smiles left and right and try to be pleasant to people. To be a true servant of God, we must keep God's commandments and live a godly and virtuous life. The slightest flaw in our thoughtful or thoughts or actions that exist without confession and repentance could result in the corruption of all our virtues. A single uncut stone in a straight wall that is masterfully designed and arranged makes the wall visually displeasing and imperfect. Prideful individuals do not compare themselves to virtuous and exemplary people. Instead, they compare themselves to flawed people who are burdened with innumerable sins. They think about how much better they are than those who they look down upon. In addition, those who are prideful often forget that the model for true comparison is to God as the supreme and perfect example of goodness, virtue, and knowledge. If they were to compare themselves to God, they would be immediately humbled and realize that they are as imperfect as those they judge. Those who struggle with a prideful nature do not want to see others succeed. For, furthermore, in order to surpass their own achievements, and the achievements of others, they often resort to all kinds of vile actions, including tarnishing the honor of others, discrediting those around them, and trying to climb over others at all costs, without realizing that every ascent also has a descent. Proverbs chapter 16 and 18 says, Pride goes before destruction, and the haughty spirit before a fall. All of this shows us that pride is a dangerous sin. It brings with it arrogance, ruin, decline, and evil. But one can suppress the roots of pride through confession and training oneself in humility, modesty, and temperance. Strong winds and the storms knock down the big oak tree that does not bend its head, but they cannot uproot the thin and flexible palm tree that bows its head. Let us try to stay modest and abstain from the mortal sin of pride. Stay healthy. Peace to all of you. Amen.